Well then, ladies and gentlemen, today I have a bumper main store sales update for you. I literally went through, I've not done a sales update on the main store in possibly two or three weeks, but I went through and there was tons of stuff that I wanted to share, all ranges of value, uh, mainly in between sort of 20 and possibly about £35, um, but there are a couple of items that are higher value than that as well, and there's obviously a couple of, a couple of items that are lower value than that, but it's mainly in that sort of range. So I've got 20 sales to share with you today instead of the usual 10. Uh, stick with it because it's going to be a good one today. I am very enthusiastic and excited to share these sales with you. I don't know why, but today I am particularly excited. Just, I think just the range of the items really. There's just such a, a beautiful and wide range of items that I've sold um, and I'm really, really happy with some of these sales. So with that being said, let's get on and let me share with you this first item here. Uh, and also just very, very quickly before we start, I will be a little bit quicker in this update or I'll try to be uh, just so that then we can get through all of the sales. Otherwise, it would be a 30 or 40 minute video and I'd rather it be uh, around a 20 minute, 25 minute video if we can. So with that being said, Lego sale, uh, Lego Speed Champions Mercedes AMG GT3, 75877 uh, is the set number, new and sealed. Now this was RA, again I've had this for a while, I paid £13 which is retail and I flipped it into 30 quid. So for an RA margin and for RA Lego, I'm fairly happy with that. This is possibly one of the ones that I didn't send to Amazon for whatever reason, I really don't know, um, but I ended up obviously listing it on eBay, so that is that one there. Next, we've got something that has taken a long time to sell. Uh, I actually picked these up ages ago when a lot of people were kind of talking about these and saying these were good um, but they did sell in the end. I don't know how long I've had these on, a long time, I know that, but they did sell and it's these vintage Kellogg's three times advertising cereal bowls. I mean, to be honest, my title's a little bit weak there. And obviously, you can tell in that title, um, these have been on a while because normally I pad out my titles a little bit better than that these days. But yeah, £20.80 plus £3.99 shipping on those. I guess, I mean, obviously, I've had these for ages, so I can't really remember the exact price. I know I will have gotten from a charity shop, most probably. And maybe they cost me a quid each. So maybe about £3 into those into £20. So still a really good profit there but it did take a while to sell. Next, I got this from Nutsford, actually, this Perudo, the classic game of, uh, classic game of Lyo, is that? Oh, right. Is that what it says? Oh, yeah, it says that, doesn't it, on the box? Um, dice, new and sealed, anyway, get this little tin game, uh, 19 plus postage. I didn't actually sell this, uh, send this to Amazon. Uh, I don't know why, possibly it was, like, a little tear on the box, or maybe it was just that, um, Amazon price, in this case, was slightly lower than eBay, or on, on par with eBay. I think that might have been what it was for this item specifically, although I do know I did have one of these at some point in the past that had a few nicks and tears to the seal. Um, but yeah, 99 on that, £2 I paid, I don't know whether I just said, um, but yeah, nice little profit in that no matter what there. So yeah, that was that one. Next, I mean, I've had for a little while this Jurassic World Mercenary and Ankylosaurus or Ankylosaurus. I, there's, there's kind of two ways I've known to pronounce that because I, I like dinosaurs and I like watching the movies and I like uh, even just learning about dinosaurs. I used to love it as a kid. But I've, I've seen in different documentaries, and it's normally a distinction between American and uh, American English and then English. Um, and people either say Ankylosaurus, and that's usually the American version, and the English version I've heard is uh, Ankylosaurus or Ankylosaur. Um, yeah, so I, I'm going to pronounce it as, as well as I'll go with the English version as far as I'm aware, which is Ankylosaurus. Um, so anyway, it's a little figure set. It's besides the point, really, isn't it? But I do li I, I, I like to educate people. What can I say? Even though it's probably false in information. Yeah, take it with a pinch of salt. I don't know whether it's true. Um, Mattel, 2017, new and sealed. Uh, 1990, oh, my cursor's in the way there. 1999, free postage. I actually picked this up from a Sainsbury's RA for five quid. As I say, it was a while ago, but that's a really, really good margin for RA. I mean, four times your money for, for an R, a retail arbitrage purchase is really, really good. Um, so yeah, really happy with that one. Next, we've got these, The Hobbit in Unexpected Journey, Legolas Greenleaf and Bilbo Baggins figures, both brand new and sealed in these boxes here. 1999 plus postage. Now, these didn't cost me anything. I'm actually in profit on the 
the job lot these came in. If you are an OG to the channel, you will know that last, possibly last January, something like that, I got these from one of my dad's friends. I actually, these were the items that I got from my dad's friend that I actually did pay him for. There were some of our other items that I got for free. But I actually did pay him for these ones. But I got loads of them and he gave me a really, really good price for them. So I've sold through quite a lot of them now. And these are just the remnants and obviously these will be pure profit. So after postage and fees on that sale there, I am in pure profit. So that's really, really cool. Next, we've got his vintage solid brass metalware mortar and pestle. I should have put pestle and mortar. Uh, kitchenware deck. $19.99 on these plus £4.49 postage. Now, I actually got this from my granddad. My granddad does a few kind of, I wouldn't say quite house clearances, but he clears out like old ladies' garages and stuff like that, or he clears out people's... Uh, front rooms and stuff, he, he does it like on a slightly lower scale and he's, he basically just gave me this, now I'm assuming it's from one of those kind of little clear outs, I'm not sure whether it actually is or not, um, but yeah he just, every now and then he'll just send something my way and he'll just say do you want to sell that and obviously there's no obligation for me to give him any money for them or anything like that which is really cool, although on occasion we have actually done deals and I've actually given him some money for when it's a more kind of a bulk lot of stuff rather than just an item here or there but this one he didn't want any money for so yeah 1999 plus post on that and this was a slightly smaller one he actually gave me two of these i got a larger one and i got about 24.99 for the larger one so a little bit extra maybe five quid but don't overlook these especially for really heavy solid brass ones i mean if you get really nice ornate large ones you can get some good money for them and this is nothing this isn't even really a good one at all and i got 20 quid for it so you can't complain with that one um so next was something i picked up and I was a little bit unsure on the price I paid for this. I paid £13 from a charity shop. The charity shop manager wanted £15. I said, would you do it for a tenner? Because I know she, she had it for ages. And when something's been hung up on a wall for quite a while in a charity shop, and I know the charity shop manager, I normally say, oh, you know, I normally... I wouldn't say push my luck, but I'd give it a little bit of cheek and say, oh, would you do a bet, like a better price on it? So I said £10, but we met sort of in the middle at 13 quid, And I really, I was kind of sure that it would do maybe 40 quid, something like that. But I actually whacked it on at 50 quid, And within, a, it was only maybe three months or something like that. And for a painting, that's not too bad. I mean, some paintings can be, can stick around for a while. Others can go quite quickly. But for, for, for three months, I'm pretty happy with that. 13 quid into 50 quid there, so a nice little strong sale there uh yeah can't complain with that one another good sale now i didn't get 90 quid i had had these up for quite a while actually and i had quite a bit of interest because these are good uh quite you know hot items as some people would say um but one guy actually messaged me and said would you take 70 quid and i said no he said yeah, I think, yeah, I think that was right. I think it was maybe 65 or 70 quid or something. But I know we sold for 70 quid in the end. So off, we might have had a little counter offer thing, uh, you know, back and forth. But I got £70 in the end for these. Again, I do hate it. But the way I do these sales updates, when I'm showing sales in this way, eBay it must be a glitch, as I've said in the past. They don't show the exact price that you accepted as an offer. So they only show the actual sort of retail price you had it up at. So I do, in the interest of clarity, always discuss close that I did take an offer on these and I actually got £20 less than the price that stated there but I actually paid retail for these and the, I've had them for quite a while uh, these speed champions went up in value like crazy and I made a really good profit on the ones that I got and I was so happy that I, I got so many of them as well I got between these two and then possibly another couple of sets, I must have had about 50 sets of, of, of these four different speed champions. And I'm so glad I invested heavily in those because it was so good profit-wise. So I paid uh, £13 each, so £26 in total, into 70 quid. It's not the best margin, but considering it's RA, I'm pretty happy. Now, I was actually getting more money for these on Amazon. I would sell them singularly. So, uh, the, the bottom one, the Ford Mustang GT, singularly, and the other one singularly. And I was actually getting, for the Ford Mustang, 50 quid a set at one time. But, you know, these are just the remnants. So, I'm just happy to take a little bit less money at this point and just get them out. And, I mean, it's still some decent net profit in that. So, can't really complain with it. So, yeah, nice little sales there. 
Next, we've got this Jelly Cat black and white cat uh, soft plush toy. Uh, it has got a little bit of wear on its tail. I don't know if you can see that. I don't think it comes up very well. Uh, it says it says in my little condition note, this is tagged, but the tag does have some, some marks, and it seems the white parts of the plush have some, I guess that's discoloration or something like that, because I know, because I can see on the photo, or I, I remember from having this item, that there was a bit of discoloration, a few marks or something. Um, but yeah, about $24.99 for it, so you can't really complain. Plane. I, I do remember I got this from a charity shop, but again, it was a very long time ago, so I can't remember an exact price. I think it was £4. It was no more than a fiver. I know it was. I didn't pick it up for one or £2. I definitely know that, but it was either 4 or £5. But still, 4 or 5 quid into 25 quid plus my postage. I'll take that all day long. So, yeah, really, really happy with that one. I think we're coming up to about halfway through now. Uh, Cavers Wall June, the, the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady collectible plate. Really? Really nice. Now, Cavers Wall stuff is really, really good. Now, not all of it is good. There's some duds in there, uh, but I really, I love picking up Cavers Wall. I love the quality of it. Uh, and now, I've not, I didn't hear about it for ages. Um, I was going to the auctions for about a year and a half before even hearing about Cavers Wall or seeing it at all. But then I uh, got a few pieces of it, and then suddenly at the next auction there was some more of it, as if by magic I'd never seen it before, but then it spun up twice in a row. And I really got... Um I just felt this attraction with it in terms of quality. And, uh, yeah, for this one plate here, I got 24 and plus postage. Now, these will have mainly came in, like, sort of small job lots that I've got from the auction. Maybe paid 20 quid for plus commission. Uh, but no doubt this will have been paid for um, within, obviously, one of those job lots. So 24 99 on that one. If I were to give an accurate kind of broken down cost from what this individual item would have cost me within one of those small job lots, it might have cost me three or four pound um but yeah as i say those job lots are most probably paid for now because i've sold quite a lot of cavers wall stuff and it came within kind of uh, similar job lots of cavers wall stuff so yeah with that being said, $24.99 plus postage on that one. Lovely little design on it as well. We've got these butterflies, got this floral design going on. It's just nice. It, and it's not too... I mean, it, it is kind of a little bit bold, but it's not like really in your face or anything like that. And, and the fact that they've still got the background as being white. You see, what some people do with these plates, or some companies do with these plates, is they feel the need to put the background in... Uh, complete solid colour but can you imagine if that background was complete solid colour other than white it would kind of take away from the design a little bit so because that background's white I really do like that I think it's quite it, it pops quite nicely um, so yeah $24.99 on that one there next we've got this uh, Hobbit collectible action figure I, th I, th I think we had a Hobbit figure earlier on didn't we the Legolas one um, so yeah $14.99 on this one plus postage again this doesn't owe me anything anymore so this is pure profit after postage and fees so I'm not going to spend any more time on that one. But it's a Gandalf for Grey figure here, the Hobbit one. Uh, next, we've got a Royal Crown Derby Millennium uh, 2000 Ceramic Love. If I put Loving Cup, I thought it was called a Love Cup, not Loving. But anyway, it might be called a Loving Cup. But I think it's called a Love Cup. So I might have messed up on the title there. I'm not, I'm not too sure, though. 31 18 on this one, plus my postage. Now, I've got loads of Crown Derby in a big job lot. I've since paid for the job lot. I've sold plates. I've sold... Uh, um, cup. Oh yeah, so I sold teacups and saucers out of that job lot and stuff. I got it for, I did pay quite a bit for that job lot actually. I think I paid 35 plus commission or £40 plus commission. But it's quite an array of uh, uh, Royal Crown Derby in there or Derby. Uh, Royal Crown Derby in there. So it's not too bad. I was fairly happy paying that. Um, but yeah, this was one of the better pieces out of the job lot. £31.18 I'd say plus postage. Will have cost me maybe... I don't know, possibly four or five pound out of that job lot in terms of individual cost because I maybe got 10 items out of that job lot for around 40 quid, something like that. So it's probably about four or five quid that's cost me, but still, I'm not too bothered. But as I say, it's kind of, the job lot's covered now anyway, so it doesn't really matter um, in terms of an individual cost that it's, that, that it's actually cost me. Um, but yeah, just to give you a little bit of information of how much it may have cost me within the job lot when the job lot was still unpaid for specifically. Um, so yeah, next we've got this Disney Store, the Muppets Fonzie brand new tag stamped uh, plush toy. Really, really nice this one. I put it on at 19.99. I think that was a little bit higher than a few others had gone. 
Now I paid, I believe this was five quid in a charity shop, so I paid up a little bit on this. Um, but still, I'm fairly happy. I mean, four times my money. It took maybe a month to sell, something like that. So it wasn't crazy amount of time. I mean, it wasn't really quick. It wasn't like, you know, a week or two weeks or anything like that. Um, but, you know, still a month, I'm happy with that sale. So five quid into 19.99 there on that little plush toy. Next, we've got another painting. Uh, I'm happy that a couple of paintings are going, actually. Here's this vin vintage Venetian court galleries oil painting Parisian Art de Triumph uh, scene really nice I've actually been there where that is on the Art de Triumph and then you've got the I think you've got the roundabout I mean it's been a while since I've been to France it was maybe when I was about 13 or something but uh, so we're talking like 11 years ago now um, but yeah I think it has like a roundabout on it doesn't it or around it um, but yeah really nice little landmark 39.99 there plus the postage a uh, lovely little oil, oil painting I do in my kind of personal uh, taste, I really do like oil paintings. Um, I do like watercolours. I'd say that possibly... It used to be that watercolours are the better one for me personally, but now I, like oil paintings do edge it somewhat for me a little bit. Um, now, I don't necessarily like the really traditional oil, oil paintings of the fruit bowls and the things like that. Not the really, really traditional ones. But I do like oil paintings that um, have character and that are maybe of a nice little scene or a nice little place. Especially French ones as well. In fact, I think I've got... I don't know whether it exactly is French, but it looks French. I've got a lovely little oil painting hung up in the other room with a lovely... Uh, you know, the, the kind of fairly common gilt frames. Uh, and it's just really nice. And it's a nice little scene. And it's got the... Uh, lamp post lit up because I think it's sort of an evening. So, oh, is it? Is that? Oh, is that my thing? In a I don't know. But I've seen another one with actually light uh, lamp post lit up, and I like. Vo I'm just trying to give you a picture of the scenes I like, basically. But yeah, I really do like those ones. So yeah, that's that one there, thirty nine ninety nine. I think I got this in an auction job lot. I was getting paintings for a steal in auction job lots at one point. I was getting them for two or three pound a painting. It was crazy. Now this one, as a maximum, it's going to cost me about a fiver. But this was most probably in one of the job lots that I was getting paintings for a steal from. So it might have only just cost me about two or three quid. So even a fiver into 40 quid, I'll take that all day long. But potentially two or three quid into 40 quid, that's even better. So yeah, that's that one there. Next, we've got this desktop ele electronic chess computer companion set, 1200. In fact, I should have actually put um, a different photo on this as the main photo. You can see here I put the main photo of just in its box but I should have laid it out and put uh, a better photo of this but that just shows my level of conscientiousness back a, a year or so ago because it possibly was longer than, it, longer than that actually might have been 18 months ago or even more uh, but I've had this for quite a while um, and you can even see in the title I mean the title could do with possibly a little bit more padding out as well but 29.99 plus post it did go in the end I don't know where I got this from because as I say it was ages ago um, I'm guessing that it cost me about three quid in a charity shop for some reason that's what springs to mind anyway at this moment I know I got it in a charity shop somewhere and three pound is springing to mind so it might be that I got it for three quid but I wouldn't have paid more than a five again for something like this no more than that at all so yeah five, potentially between three and five pound into 30 quid there so pretty happy with that one and that's a really strong price to get for uh, an electronic uh, chess set because i mean some of them it, i mean there's a real big range in electronic set chess sets there's some that go for you know 50 quid 100 quid whatever good good ones but, you know, there's a lot now that only go for about 15, 20 quid. So 30 quid, that's pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, next, we've got this green, green Le Creuset cast iron pan pot, uh, round saucepan. It was number 22. I didn't get 29.99 for this. I accepted an offer of 20 quid plus postage. Paid paid four quid for this. Not too long ago in a chat shop, maybe a month ago, something like that. Um, but you know, still, I'm really really happy with that. 20 quid from four quid plus my postage, of course. Just get it gone, get my money out of it, and get reinvesting in other stuff. There's no point having it sat on there forever. Um, so yeah, just whacked that whacked that out there. So uh, next, we've got something really, really cool. Again, this is another item today in this sales update that I'm very enthusiastic about. These vintage art of Ertel, Ertel, Ertel or something. Uh, Ertel Sobrani. I think it's French, so I'm probably butchering that name there. Playing card set. Really lovely. $24.99 for a nice little playing card set. And these were really, really lovely. Uh, I don't know whether... Art Deco or Art Nouveau, I think possibly, oh yeah, they look possibly more Art Nouveau, 
Um, but they're really, they're really, like, the style of them is Art Nouveau. I don't know whether they were produced at that time or not. I really haven't a clue, if I'm honest. But uh, the style of them, at least, looks kind of like Art Nouveau-y. Um, now, they are a little bit risque. You may have seen on them, some of them there. But I do like them. I think they're a nice-looking little item. I got these in a charity shop for a fiver. So I did pay again. You know, it wasn't a one or two pound purchase. These were a fiver again. Uh, but, yeah, these were really nice. And I did want to take a chance on them. Now, I have actually had these on for about four or five months now but still i'm i'm happy to wait on something like this just a nice looking little item 24.99 plus postage as i say lovely little thing and again it's going to be something easy to post so that that suits me right up to the wall that does I'm, I'm happy when i can get anything that's easy to post so that being said we're coming up to the few uh, the last few items here studio art pottery j dealer small uh, decorative pot again that title needs a little bit more improvement there so no wonder it took i don't know 10 months 12 months to sell this but you got to be constantly learning got to constantly be criticizing yourself and thinking right what how can i improve this you don't get anywhere by um being your best friend you have to be a little bit of a critic to yourself you have to think well how am i gonna how am i gonna improve on that in the future and so that's why nowadays i i do do good titles because i think hang on a minute i did i thought in the past hang on a minute I don't like these titles, they're not as long or as good as they could be. Um, so, as you can see here, uh, as I say, maybe 10, 12 months to sell this. I didn't get 24 99 I accepted an offer of £21, which was, I was more than happy to accept since I've had it for so long. I paid 2 or £3 in my local charity shop, the one just down the road. Can't remember what it, whether it was £2 or £3, but I know it was one or, or the other. Um, so yeah, really nice. I thought it was interesting. Uh, it's just like an interesting studio pottery thing. It's quite a modern one, 2005, but in terms of collectibles, antiques kind of um age you know that's pretty modern um so yeah 24 uh, no not 24 and 21 pound on that plus postage of course can't really go wrong i thought i was a really nice little item there i just wish it possibly would have sold a bit quicker and it would have done if i had obviously paid more attention to the title or it possibly would have done i mean it's one of those items that you, you really need to find the right buyer so it might not have done but it, it might have given it a little bit better chance so next we've got it's 1926 i think that was the year the queen was born wasn't it that's just what sprung to mind there yeah 1926 i think that was when she was born anyway vintage os ordnance survey half inch map 33 sale salisbury i always say salisbury it's not salisbury is it salisbury uh, is it salisbury i think it's salisbury anyway salisbury winchester reading uh 1399 there for this little ordnance survey map now this is in blooming good condition for its age really look at that like, i mean you would imagine that was done maybe in the 60s or something wouldn't you not not in the 20s with how good condition that's in i mean you see some of these maps that are a right state they're absolutely terrible now this came in to me in a job lot i paid i believe 20 25 pound for plus commission of course uh, from the auction it had loads of maps and it actually had two boxes full of maps and ephemera and oh i don't know documents and leaflets and pamphlets and everything so this i am in pure profit on after posting and fees so that's always good i always say about going to the auctions and picking up um ephemera and picking up job lots like that because you can make a serious ton of money on a lot of the other dealers kind of disregard them unless there's anything really really high value in there because we don't we just don't want to spend like loads of time going through a huge huge stack of ephemera if it's not really their sort of thing i mean if it is their sort of thing then yeah they'll do it um, but a lot of people like other things like die cast or metalware or things like that so a lot of the time these these job lots lots just tend to go not necessarily unsold but they just go for very little money and you can pick up a real bargain if you obviously want to spend the time and go through them and research them and stuff and you can make a good mo amount of money i had about 10 of these maps out there just these ordnance survey ones not there was loads of other maps as well but just these ordnance survey ones and i've put all of them on for at least a tenner so i mean that's over 100 quid or around 100 quid just from those back from the job lot so you can see how it soon mounts up so with that being said that's that one there 13.99 that's cool and then finally uh to end on 
one is one of the classics. I always sell these. Uh, vintage large brass metal uh, slash metal jam pan garden planter pot. Always good with these to put planter or pot in the title because that's what they are used for a lot of the time. No doubt there are people out there who use them as a jam pan or possibly as some sort of kitchen decor in a kind of country like uh, kitchen or country like uh, cottage kitchen. Um, and actually, that's a good keyword as well. You can put in your title country kitchen or something like that, cottage kitchen. Um, but yeah, $24.99 on that. Um, and yeah, they do mainly get, get used for planters and stuff. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with that one. Plus postage, of course. This world came in uh, to me within a metalware job lot. I'm guessing around about a fiver for this. It wouldn't have cost me a few quid. It wouldn't have cost me one or two quid. Again, that's going to cost me a little bit more in a job lot. Um, but yeah. Five quid into twenty four and nine plus postage. Still, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so can't really complain about one. So that is everything. A bumper sales update for you today. So thank you very much for joining me, guys. If you did enjoy the video, then please do smash that like button down below. If you haven't already, then please do consider subscribing to see more content like this and a vast array of other content as well. And uh, what's my other final thing? Oh, that's it. If you have a comment, then please do uh, put a comment, question, or query down below in the comments box. And I do actually have a second store of which I do store updates on this channel, because obviously what we've talked about today is my main store. But if you'd actually like to uh, get a little bit more interactive with what I'm doing personally on eBay, then you can actually go down below in the description and you can find a link to my second eBay account. It's called The Eclectic Attic 2020, back to the username. Um, and you can see what items I'm putting on there. I just do that store for a little bit of fun. This obviously is the thing that makes me the most money and that I get good money from. But the second store is just something that I do for a little bit of fun and to obviously update you guys on uh, doing a little bit of selling on the side and to be a little bit more relatable with those of you who are starting a store from scratch and only have a handful of items on. So I will leave it there for that one guys and I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon guys. Slow down.